Hi! Welcome to another video on Image R. In this video, we will explain you how we prepared the images we engraved in the last video. So, let's get started. First let's open the website www.imag-r.com. Don't get worried by the advertising, they won't affect us at all. Close the tab on the right bottom. Now let's take a look at our puppy image. We have to remove the blue background, since we only want to engrave the puppy. The image R background removal tool is perfect for that. Let's click on background removal in the menu. The only thing we have to do here is clicking on upload. Now we choose our puppy and wait some seconds until the tool removed our background. As you see, it shows now the result on the right side. The background was removed perfectly with no afford at all. Click download, it will save the file as PNG automatically. Now let's move back to the image R by clicking on the tab in the menu. Upload our puppy with the removed background, in my case located in the downloads folder. Since the image has the same size as before, we need to crop unnecessary areas with the crop tool. With the blue buttons you can restrict the puppy. If you're happy with the selection click the crop button. The next step is resizing our image. I want the image with a width of 160 mm. The height will be set automatically. For DPI we will use 254, since we found that out already in our last video. If you don't know the DPI for your machine watch our last video. Press OK and give it some time to resize and resample your image. Great! Now we can choose our algorithm and material. I really like the Baining algorithm for my CO2 laser, so I will go with that. Feel free to test the others as well. We will make a detailed video about the differences in algorithms in future. I want to engrave my puppy on wood, so I will choose Baining wood. Hit OK and give it some time to apply the material settings. Now we're done. If you zoom in, you can see the small dots. Perfectly prepared for engraving. Last step is the download. I prefer to use bitmap as file format. You can use PNG as well, since it is almost the same quality as bitmap. You should avoid using JPEG and never use SVG. Looks good to me. Let's try again with another image. Now we will engrave a car. I don't need to crop the car, so I will go directly to resize. Again, I want to use 160mm in width and 254 dpi. The height calculates automatically. You can check the current size above the image comparison. This image should be also engraved on wood, but with a CO2-2 algorithm to enhance details even more. Look at this awesome details. Really sharp and clean. Now we just need to download the image again in BMP. This will look great. So now we can import the image into our laser software, in my case RD works. Let's start with the puppy. I will create a rectangle around the puppy for cutting. To change the rectangle from scan to cut, give it a double click in the layers tab and change it to cut. 
Now we have to check the line interval for the image. Also in the layer settings. It is already set correctly to 0.1 mm, which is perfect for my 254 dpi. If you're unsure, you can check the table on www.imagdashart.com slash scangap. As we see, it shows 254 dpi next to the 0.1 mm entry. Great! We perfectly prepared our image for engraving. The last step is to hit start and be happy with the result. I attached an image from my results at the very end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and of course subscribe to our channel to never miss any useful content. Bye and have a great day.